Hi guys, my name is Alana and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here we discuss all things fashion, luxury, and handbags. So if those are things that are interesting to you, then I hope you would do me the favor of hitting the subscribe button down below if you have not already. Today we are going to be talking about some new releases from Louis Vuitton. Now that spring is here, I am really getting excited for these new collections that are dropping, but this one in particular really has piqued my interest. So if you're interested in hearing some of the new pieces dropping from Louis Vuitton, or if you're a fellow pink lover like me, then please just keep on watching. Okay guys, so getting right into this video, we're going to be talking about some of the new releases coming out from Louis Vuitton, and I am a sucker for the spring and summer collections from Louis Vuitton, and that is mainly because I love beautiful colors, and I love the color pink, and this is typically when they bring out a good amount of their pink handbags. So I do have my pink handbag here. This is my Easy Pouch on Strap from the By the Pool collection last year, and again with this beautiful pink, I could just not say no. But as you can also see, I did put out some pink eye candy for us today because I do love pink bags and I hope you guys are just excited for these pieces as I am. I'm going to start off with the ones that are my absolute favorite and that is coming from the Rose Opal Drop. So this is a colorway that they are implementing with the Empreinte Leather. It is absolutely stunning. So I'm going to look at my phone as we talk so I can reference these bags, but I'm going to start off with a bang. I think this new Diane that is coming out in the Rose Opal is absolutely stunning. And as I'm looking at the notes here as well, it says that this is the Nano Diane. So I don't think we've seen this size come out yet. I am curious to see what this looks like in person. This is what I'm going to have to try on, but it is absolutely stunning. Now, my only fear, fear <laughs> with this collection is that is the pink going to be too similar to my easy pouch that I have here? Now, of course, this has like a gradient kind of finish to it. However, the main color in the back is like a light pastel pink, but this Nano Diane is just stunning. So this is going to be launching in April in the US and then May 3rd, it looks like elsewhere as of right now, but it comes with a top handle, just like the regular Diane, as well as it comes with a crossbody strap as well. What I like about the looks of this Nano Diane is the fact that it's going to be coming with a leather crossbody strap, which is one of the reasons I haven't pulled the plug on the Diane bag. I am looking for one in regular monogram canvas, and the Diane is a popular one, but it comes with the guitar strap, which is just not my favorite. So the fact that this one is coming with that leather strap, I think is a really nice touch. And it is absolutely stunning. The Nano Diane is going to retail for $2,100 in USD, which I think for beautiful empreinte leather in this style is not a bad price. Also considering that we do get a leather strap with this as well. Maybe I'm also a bit biased because I really just enjoy this piece, but I can definitely work with that price tag. What do you guys think of the Diane? Are you interested in seeing the Nano size or do you think it's a perfect size already as it is? Nonetheless, the style definitely suits this colorway. Next up, we're going to be talking about a new backpack that Louis Vuitton has. This one is also extremely stunning. This is called the Backup Backpack and it is set to retail for $3,600 in USD. So we're getting up there in price. This is a pricey bag, but it is all on prompt leather, of course, in the same rose opal. I think it is beautiful and there's a lot of nice details in this bag. I really enjoy how it has the gold chain, but it has the leather details woven through beautiful touch and it's kind of giving me Chanel as well with that detail. I think it's very pretty. Now how that strap would feel over your shoulder over time if you're using the bag for a day out, that is to be determined but definitely beautiful nonetheless. It does have a flap closure at the top that you can get into the main compartment but then it also has two what looks to be functioning pockets at the front as well, oh, though tiny. And it does look like they have a magnetic closure, so you don't have to worry about getting the belt and adjusting it and opening it and closing it just to get into those front pockets, so that is a nice touch. I do feel like they did put a lot of detail into these pieces. Another thing that I like is all of these pieces that I'm mentioning today have a microfiber interior, and I think that is absolutely stunning too. It is very similar to, again, the color way and what the interior of my easy pouch on strap is so I can show you guys that as well 
it does have microfiber lining that looks to be similar to this and I really do think it just adds some elegance to the bag as well when it has those features what are we thinking about this piece so $3,600 is that too much for a backpack if you like this style though but maybe you're unsure about the color this also does come in the cream as well as the black color too if you're more leaning towards those colors I feel like as much as I love this bag, just the fact that it would be on my back, I'd be worrying about color transfer. So maybe I'd lean more towards the black. I think it's stunning too. But that pink, guys, that pink just screams summer backpack kind of picnic style. And I love it. The next bag up in the Rose Opal collection is the Speedy 20. Now, we're familiar with this style. They've done this quite a few times. It's beautiful. It's stunning. It's just now in this colorway. So if you are a fan of the Speedy 20, this could be a really good option for you if you want something a little bit different. I really like the look of the Speedy 20. I feel like for me, that would be the perfect size. And this one is just beautiful. So it does have some gold detail on the chain, which I really do like. But then it also looks that it has the leather attachment as well. So that if you carry this over your shoulder crossbody, it's not going to dig into your shoulder. So I can appreciate that. Again, can also appreciate that it is not a guitar strap. So we do love to see that. And otherwise, this has all of the same features of our typical leather enfant speedies. Again, with the microfiber interior, and it is very beautiful. I think you can't go wrong with this bag in this color. I think it also gives it some femininity as well, which I think is a really nice touch too. This retails for $2,570 in USD, so significantly less than the backpack did cost. And I think that this can be a really workhorse, multi-purpose bag as well, taking it from day to night. No complaints about this bag. I think this one is also very stunning. The next bag is for all of my Neo No Way lovers. This one is in the beautiful Empreinte leather again, the Rose Opal, and it has that beautiful microfiber lining again. And I feel like this really just elevates what we know as our regular Neo No Way. I love that this comes with the pink leather top handle, pink leather crossbody and then of course it has the enfant leather to me like I said this really just elevates the look and I feel like makes it quite a feminine style as well I feel like the Neo Noe is a great bag to use casually as every day but I really feel like the way that they've designed this in this pink it really makes it so you could wear a little bit more fancy if you wanted to but of course this is also a bag that's going to pack a punch and hold a good amount too so this is a great piece if you are a Neo Noe lover this is going to retail for $2,590 in USD so not a horrible price again all on front leather and you're getting the two leather strap options which I think is nice I do know that a lot of people like to carry this bag as a top handle so again the fact that they have this in the matching on front leather I think is a really good feature as well so that is it for the handbags that I've seen so far with this colorway again absolutely stunning I think that Nano Diane is my favorite it is so cute now there are a handful of SLGs that do come in this colorway with the Empreinte leather as well. So if you're interested in hearing what those are, you can let me know down below in the comments and I will let you know the ones that I have seen. And also I just wanted to give a shout out to MFOLV2. I think it's a backup account that they're using right now, but that is where I'm getting most of these pictures from. And this is where I'm getting most of my updates from. He does a really good job of keeping us up to date of the new releases. So thank you for those. And those are all that I have for now but we're going to be moving on to another kind of pink colorway that I'm excited about too that is very stunning also that is the Sunrise Aquarelle collection and this is very beautiful also so this is typically going to have a cream background and then it looks like it has a combination of pinks and oranges maybe even some red in there that is meant to be of course reminiscent of the Sunrise and then it does also look like it's in a watercolor pattern I'm assuming hence the name so there's quite a few pieces that are also coming out with this print I think they are also very very stunning so let's get into the first one the first one we'll talk about is the carryall and this is a great bag a nice hobo style it is one of the more classic pieces they have too what I like about this one is that it's coming with that beautiful matching pouch in the interior so if you wanted to carry or have a nice little SLG to go with this collection that's a really nice touch as well this one is going to retail for $3,400 in USD 
And as I'm looking at the notes here, this one says carry all PM zip. So perhaps this means we're getting a zipper closure at the top as well. If that is the case, I think that makes it an even better touch that we have too. This is a really beautiful piece, as I mentioned. It is a bit pricey, but you are getting quite a lot of leather, quite a lot of bag for the price. So that I can appreciate. Also, I'm not too much of a hobo bag kind of shoulder girl. I prefer my bags to be tiny if they're gonna be a shoulder bag, but if you are into this style, it's a really pretty one too. Moving on to the next bag, we have a tote style bag, and this is going to be the On The Go BB, which is a new size that they are releasing, so even smaller than the PM size. Based on the dimensions that I saw, I think it's gonna be very similar in size to the Marc Jacobs tote bag that I have here in the mini size is what they're calling this now. So I can imagine it would be very comparable to this. This bag also does come with a crossbody strap that is in leather, similar to this bag here. But the main difference being this bag retails for $3,400 when this was only a fraction of that cost. So we can put this back now that we have kind of a visual of the dimension and size for that. So if you are someone who is into a small type of tote and you would like to use that as a handbag, now they've come out to it in a smaller size, which I can appreciate. This is a grab and go bag for me that I do pick up and use when I'm running errands. The only thing I find about this is the fact that it is going to perhaps get color transfer very easily. As I said, it has the cream in the background. So even if you were to carry this crossbody, though stunning, if you're wearing something like denim, there is a high possibility that you will get color transfer on this. And again, speaking from experience, I have experienced a lot of color transfer on my Marc Jacobs tote bag. And again, I'm not saying the leather is exactly the same. Of course it's not. However, I know how it can be with the light colors and then of course denim too. But this is a beautiful piece. Now it's interesting to look at the carry-all zip compared to this bag. Now granted the carry-all zip was in the PM size. However, those two size comparison and they're both full leather bags you're getting the on the go BB at the same price as you would be getting the carry all. So perhaps that's just because the on the go totes do quite well. They are quite popular, but for me, it would be hard to justify paying 3,400 on the on the go BB when I know there are alternatives such as the carry all PM and the same price. What do you think between the size warranting the cost of the bag? Now, don't get me wrong, at the end of the day, you got to get what you love. But again, I think for me, it'd be hard to pull the trigger on the smaller size bag, just knowing that there are some other pieces for a very similar price. And in this case, the same price that are going to be bigger and potentially offer more. We have another Speedy in the lineup. And this one is actually going to be a Nano Speedy. And I think with this print in a mini bag, it works so, so well. So I'm a fan of this one. As I said, when it comes to this collection, like I said, the fact that it's the white leather, and I feel like even in a bag like the Speedy, if you're carrying it as a top handle, even if you have lotion, any oils on your hand, you touch your makeup, your foundation, I can just see that transferring so easily. But granted, these can also be pieces that you bring out to make a statement. You can perhaps baby them a little bit more. And I think this nano size is so beautiful. This nano size retails for $2,200. $210 in USD. What I do like about this bag is the fact that this comes with the leather strap as well. So again, we don't need any guitar straps with this bag. I find in particular when it's a very mini bag too, I do feel like the guitar strap can be overpowering. So I can appreciate the leather strap that is given for this piece too. I'm a fan of this one and I really do feel like it's a great kind of effect that it has. And I love the fact that the monogram really packs a punch on such a tiny bag. I feel like it really does stand out. Okay, getting into the last bag. For this one, I saved the best for last. The bag that really caught me by surprise from the Sunrise Aquarelle collection is this Easy Pouch on Strap. Guys, you know how I feel about the easy pouch on strap, especially when it comes in beautiful variations. So this one is absolutely stunning. Of course, it has the emprunt leather with the watercolor look at the front, similar to this. But this one is coming in a smaller monogram. I think, again, against the cream, it really pops. What I also noticed, and same thing with this easy pouch that I have, you have the print at the front, 
you have the print at the back but on the side you have just the plain leather which I think is good too I think it would make it very busy especially on a tiny bag and I also love the fact that of course you get the two chains with this you get a chain shoulder strap as well as the leather crossbody if you're familiar with my channel, you know I am a big fan of the Easy Pouch, so I will not talk your ear off about that, but I really do think it's a great look. This one is going to retail for $1,790 in USD. This is a great bag if you're a mini bag lover. I find it so easy to just throw on with an outfit. It is light. You can take it from day to night. If you know how to pack minimally, because I will say it is not a big bag, of course, it is not going to hold the whole kitchen sink, but you can definitely get your necessities in there. And that is the last bag we're talking about from the Aqua Brawl collection. So I am curious, which collection do you guys like better? Do you guys like the rose opal colorway or do you like the sunrise better? Are there any of these pieces that have piqued your interest? Which one is your favorite? Like I said, from the Rose Opal collection, I love that Nano Diane. And then from the Aquamel collection, I really love that Easy Pouch on Strap. Do I need another one? No, but am I tempted? Yes. And for that price point as well, it is nothing too crazy in the realm of luxury handbags, of course. So it might tempt me, guys. I have to be good with that one. I'm trying to stay away from doubles of handbags, but that one really is tempting me. Anyways, if you have made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate the support. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any content that is coming out in the future. I do love talking handbags and new releases with you guys. So like I said, be sure to let me know which ones are your favorite and I will see you guys in the next video.